We're trying to bring ACT and spread it to as many different corners of the world as we possibly can. A little bit, we've been gaining a lot of questions towards what are our programs that we've got going on and what are some of the things that we're doing during the month of July and we're getting a lot of traction and people interested in our program so we're really excited about those things. Uh, also we've been hearing some questions about some confusion about what our online programming is and looks like and so I just want to take a moment this afternoon to kind of talk with everybody. This is basically a kind of FAQ of frequently asked questions on some of the th things and upcoming excitement that we have at ACT here. So we wanted to share all of that with you all today. First and foremost, I want to take a moment to really shout out Arts Washington. Uh, thank you Arts Wa for your wonderful, uh, amazing grants that you've given to us. We are really grateful in terms of all of those things that are there. Uh, it's really helped us keep offering our online programming as we're going through things. The first thing I'm going to address today is our fall auditions. Yeah! Fall auditions! Woo! I'm excited about fall auditions uh, and I'm excited that we are going to have a fall production. It will be an online production, at least that's how we're moving forward as now. If that can change, we will allow that to change, we'll, we'll morph with it. We have a wonderful flexible production, but we want to talk about how we're going to do our fall production in general. Our fall show is called Shakespeare Stories. This is a wonderful co-production with ACT and The Rude Mechanicals. Our friends The Rude Mechanicals have been doing amazing Shakespeare pro programs and productions throughout our area since, they're since they were founded and we're excited to partner with them. I will be co-directing with the amazing Emily Richmond, each, uh, each organization bringing a friend along and we are also working with some really wonderful individuals uh, being Corey Jenkins and Cleo Howell to write the script. So we're really excited to work on all of those things together to write the script and bring this for you. How do you get involved? Great question you're sitting there asking yourself. We'll have auditions. At these auditions, they're going to be online, they're going to be on Zoom, and we have all of that information over on our website, academychildrenstheater.org is where you're gonna find all the links and all the information to all the things that I'm talking about as well. So once you get there, you're gonna click the auditions, the little circle, it's got a little star on there, and there's a little audition circle. And you can scroll down to find Shakespeare stories. You can also just uh, click that wonderful image that was drawn by the amazing Sadie Halverson, one of our students, uh, drew us a Shakespeare image for our temporary placeholder there. And you can find out information on auditions. They will be on July 25th and 28th. That is a Saturday afternoon and a Tuesday evening, trying to give some flexibility and times there for people who can and want to audition. You'll be able to sign up through Sign Up Genius just like you have in the past. That process is still the same. And you'll also be able to download the audition form and you can fill it out right then and there, boom, at that audition form. You can fill it out online and then just send it right back to us. It's a fillable form, it's there. If you do have any issues, email us, contact us, let us know. We want to help. So the wonderful thing about our fall production is that anybody anywhere who is a friend of ACT can actually audition for this production. It is so fun and so unique in the sense that because we are a little bit like we're going to do it online because of COVID to be safe, that means that if you're an ACT friend or family and you have moved away from ACT, you can actually still come back and be involved in our production. Or if you are an alumni and you're no longer near us as well, we would love to have as many folks get involved with this production as we possibly, possibly can. So what are the audition requirements for Shakespeare stories? Well, what we would love to have happen is that you present a 30 to 45 second monologue or story that represents you. That's the prompt. It is a 30 to 45 second monologue that represents you. You as an artist, you as a person, you, however you want to take that, this is up to you. The reason being is, is we are really gonna try to look and do it some really kind of fun and unique casting. And rather than saying we wanted something comedic or something dramatic or something classical like Shakespeare, we're gonna work on all those things. All those things will be worked on when we do the production, but, we were really excited to get to know the artists themselves that were auditioning for us. So that the, the prompt is a monologue or a piece that represents you. There's also a question on our audition form that we're going to have everybody ask that is about how art 
relates to your world and how you can craft art and how creativity relates to you and your world. Uh, this production, we're so excited to be able to explore the different diverse aspects of art and culture and our art and our culture and our people and everything of, across our board because we want to know how art really works and affects you and we're going to look at that through Shakespeare, this really classic platform and we want to try to open that platform up to anybody and everybody. The Rude Mechanicals are having some wonderful conversations with us about what we can do to help make Shakespeare accessible and then we're going to try to make it be as fun and awesome as it can be for the modern audience. So we're really excited about Shakespeare stories and we hope that you are also excited about Shakespeare stories. And Next up, I want to talk about one of our partners, another one of our partnerships. This one is with BAM Theater in Chicago, and we've been working through a partnership with them through the month of June, and now into July, we're going to transition into our second part of the partnership with them. And we have two things that we do with BAM Theater, and, and I know there's been a little bit of confusion on what we do with them and how we do it and what those classes are like. And so let me talk through that registration process with you here, just so that way there can hopefully be a little less confusion on that registration process. So BAM Theater offers two programs for us. One of them is the Broadway Master Series. Here's how it works. Right now we're registering for participating slots. Anybody who would like to participate and to perform a section of a song uh, like an audition cut of a song about a 16 measure bar of a song and you get to perform for the Broadway actor for the Broadway master and they will give you feedback it's like working one-on-one -on -one with them um, we've had a couple of students participate and it was really really awesome uh, Maggie in the comments says Liana did the Broadway master series in the first series and it was absolutely amazing I would encourage anyone and everyone to check it out I think that's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that personal story, Maggie, for Liana. Um, I actually got to watch Liana. She did wonderful. She got to work with uh, Corey Cott, who was in Newsies. And so it's really exciting. Soon, they're going to go down to individual re registration. So you could do a person here, a person there, a person. So if you want to get all three Broadway Masters, register now. And then coming soon, we're going to open it up to just doing individual drop-ins. Now, the next tier down for them is you can also just watch. And you can watch the interactions. So this is like a master class and a master class is where they were you're able to really work in tandem with an artist and work in tandem with their level of skill and so whether or not you're directly doing the one-on-one -on -one working with them being in that class is so amazingly helpful to hear their thoughts and to think about how you can take that and take it into your acting and it's just like working with a really experienced directing coach if you are interested in more further conversation on the broadway masters series please email me I can pass it on to Jenna who's over there at BAM and who is doing a wonderful job helping all our friends and families get signed up the second thing we're doing with BAM theater is a choreography workshop and this one is where you work with a Broadway choreographer to learn a combo every session I think the sessions are an hour long they're on Tuesday afternoons and you get to learn a combo with that choreographer it's, a, it's an interactive zoom feed as well so if you're struggling they'll give you some one-on-one -on -one advice again it's a great opportunity for you to learn more about dancing and wonderful wonderful amazing tips from an amazing professional who works with broadway actors and they want to work and can work with you if you sign up for that class as well One of those next ones is, is ACT's final production of our season, uh, our COVID delayed season at this point, is The Jungle Book. Emily Richmond has been working with the kids and the cast and the crew to put together this amazing production. And it's going to be such a wonderful, wonderful occasion to get to share the work of these students with you. Streaming for a limited time only, that's right, it's a limited time offer, it will be July 17th through the 26th, July 17 through the 26th. That's your window, that's when you can watch The Jungle Book. Tickets are gonna be the same as Wrinkle in Time. They're gonna be a $10 individual ticket. They're going to be a $15 couple ticket if there's two of you, and they're going to be a $20 family ticket. Uh, these tickets will get you a link and you'll be able to watch the show at any time during that period for one viewing. Uh, if you buy multiple tickets, you can view the link multiple times. That's kind of how that works. I will tell you one of the things that I'm most excited about is 
With this show, we had a lot, a little bit more uh, runway and some more prep time, which means we got to have the kids kind of make their own costumes. I am insanely excited for you to see all the fun and crazy things they ended up doing to make themselves into the creatures and the world of the Jungle Book. It is gonna be a really fun thing. Now, on top of that, we have two or three different events that are gonna pair with this as well. So amazing, our amazing booster president, Maggie Schwan, ha is going to be like rock star. She makes these super, super wonderful cakes. They are so creative and so, so amazingly well done that you're like, how do you not have your own baking show? I'm very confused by this. But what giving her her own baking show, she's gonna make a cupcake video for all of you. So here's how this is gonna work. If you purchase the cupcake add-on, which is an option when you're buying tickets, that you go through and you select, I wanna watch the show, I want to buy this amount of tickets, the next step in is going to be that you can buy a cupcake add-on. What you're gonna get is for $12, you're gonna get six cupcakes delivered to you, to you, delivered, all right? And then you're gonna get a tutorial video on how to decorate these cupcakes and make them all kinds of amazing things fun things too. So it's a really fun way to help make this a whole family evening. Not just sitting down to watch the show, but let's make some cupcakes, let's decorate them together. And I'm insanely excited to see what these cupcakes are and look like. And I'm really grateful that Maggie is doing this for this show. Uh, she's also doing two other free Facebook events that are going to go along with the Jungle Book. The first one is on opening day on July 17th. Maggie is going to lead a Jungle Book craft session. So that way you can do some fun crafts and then watch the Jungle Book. And then on the next Friday down, the closing Friday, not the, quite the last day, but the closing Friday, we are going to have Maggie do another cupcake tutorial, but slightly different. Uh, and so it'll be a really fun way to also look at how you can do some cool um, cupcakes decorating and just getting involved and making this more of an evening and an event for your family. So we're really excited for those two Facebook free live events. Those two are gonna be our free ones for this month. As well as later in the month, uh, myself and the interns are gonna come on and we're gonna do our play club. We still have not announced our title yet for our play club, but the play club is where we're gonna read a play. We're gonna read a play or part of a play together here with you all on this platform. We'll send you a link, we'll send you a play. You get to make some choices, we get to act together. And so we're really excited to do that near the end of the month as well. Oh, one more thing, Saturdays. I totally forgot the thing that I also get to do on Saturdays. Adrian and I will still be here. We will still be doing the watch alongs every Saturday at noon. We moved to Saturdays right before the 4th of July and now we're gonna be back here just because of classes and teaching. Uh, so watch alongs are gonna be here. This week's watch along pairs with our class theme. So we're gonna watch Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, our very first Harry Potter movie. Next week to pair with Star Wars week, we are going to watch Star Wars, A New Hope. Again, the very first Star Wars movie. So we're excited about that. The next week after that, we're gonna watch ACT's Jungle Book and we will have Jungle Book cast members uh, being able to come on and join us as well. So we're very excited for all of that. And then following that, we're gonna wrap up our month celebrating some musicals and we're gonna watch Hairspray 2007. There you go. Get a little, get a little, a little bit of Zac Efron up in here. classes that the main question that I'm hearing is that the section listing on our on our website is a little confusing and so I want to talk through why we have section A section B section C and how that works here just a little bit to help that at the end of the day really the only difference in the sections is just gonna be time and date truthfully we've ended up combining a lot of the sections together we haven't been running them at the full thing and we communicate with you when those things happen we have those sections a b and c because we can't offer due to due to some of the covid things we can't offer more than about 10 kids per class if we were in person which we are not yet in person um, if we were in person, we would want to keep those socially distanced and those safe barriers. But as we're online still, having small class sizes allows our teachers and our interns and our students to have more one-on-one -on -one quality class time with you. We can see everybody on a screen. It's not becoming overwhelming. We can take through, we can work through things. So we keep our classes to that smaller minimum size there. Feel free to sign up for any of those as you see fit. 
uh, there's no real right or wrong. We'll be in contact with you if there has to be a little adjustment made anyway, just kind of on, on those calendars and schedules there. So it's a little bit on classes and how those are working. Harry Potter week is coming up. We're very excited for Harry Potter week, following that of Star Wars week and then musical theater week. All of those are three of our most popular ones. And then we get a lot of questions on Summer Stage. So Summer Stage is still running. We have lots of registration and we're really excited for Summer Stage. If you follow our um, kind of guidelines that we have set, we know that we can't have in-person classes until Benton County gets to phase three. We're in phase 1.5, so good step forwards. Um, so we have until the end of this week to be three weeks out and we can try to get there um, we will be in touch with those of you that have registered for class and let you know whether it be online or in person. We are going to make sure that if it is an online production this year, that it is a really fun and really engaging uh, online production that is something that you will learn from and grow from and experience from. You know, it's really fun to work with the next generation of kids because frankly, at the end of things, it's not, we can't just go back to being what we were. We need to move forward and adapt and figure out what a new life post-COVID and all of this stuff is um, is going to be and so we're creating and crafting new ways to create theater and bring theater and we are exciting to have all the students come along and be along with us. Their ideas are as important as ours. Our boosters have some wonderful events coming up. Uh, they're going to do a Goodwill truck. Uh, I think that's Monday and Tuesday. That's actually just right after this weekend. So Monday and Tuesday. Uh, again, it'll be socially distant and safe. You'll need to wear a mask in order to drop off your um, your donations. So we really appreciate that. Boosters will also be there trying to offer some really fun snacks and offer some really fun like uh, crowns and choo-choos and all of our fun things the boosters offer during the production. We make these videos to hopefully help you get some answers to questions and hopefully that you can know a little bit more as you're going into register. We are still here to answer questions, whether it be on the feed of this video at info at actstaff.org. Um, anyway, josh at actstaff.org, all of our first names will totally work there to, to get you to contact one of us. We want you to be involved and if there are questions, please, 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 please don't hesitate to ask.